What do we got? Got a very cool piece of aviation history for you here. A titanium nose piece off of the SR-71 Blackbird. OK. Where did you get this? Actually, uh, my dad came across it. He used to work on it back when it was a big national secret. You know, these planes were so mysterious at some point that they were actually like thought of as being UFOs. I came today to the pawn shop to sell a panel off of the SR-71, also known as the Blackbird. It used to be top secret reconnaissance plane for the United States Air Force. I'd like to sell it because I could use a little extra cash at the moment. So where did this go on the plane? Right up in the nose, right in this area. There was only three ever found that I know of, and we've got one of them right here. Signed right. by a pilot, in fact. Nice. I did a Los Angeles to Washington, D.C. in like 53 minutes or yeah, something like that? Yeah, in fact, like it shattered the old record by like three hours and still uh, hasn't been touched. When Lockheed designed the SR-71 to spy on the Soviet Union, they realized they needed titanium to build it. But the only country with titanium was the Soviet Union. So the CIA created a bunch of shell companies to buy that titanium so they could build these birds. Pretty sneaky. That's the CIA for you. So you said it's made out of titanium, huh? That it is. It flew so high that the skin apparently reached like 600 degrees while it was flying, and anything else would have melted. Good. Working here most of my life, I mean, people coming in with titanium jewelry, I actually thought I could size a titanium ring one time and ended up breaking all the jeweler's tools trying to do it. It is not a fun metal to work with. Strong as all hell, though. We get a lot of military and aviation collectors in the shop looking for rare stuff like this. If this thing's legit, it could be a big score. You got a big hunk of titanium here, and you've got a hell of a story. True. Um, I'm inclined to believe you just because I've worked with titanium and I know what a bitch it is to work with. You could make a lot more money than making pieces of an SR-71 Blackbird. What are you looking to get on it? Another one went up at auction without the signatures and brought in 1500 it could bring in $2,500, $3,500 at auction, I'm pretty sure. You told me one sold for $1,500. I'm going to believe that's what this one sells for. I'll offer you $1,200. I'd like to hold steady at $15. I sell it to you for less than that. You guys will make a killing, and I'll lose that. All right, $1,500, man. Good deal. Follow me. Let's go do some paperwork. I was real confident we were going to make a deal. It's one of a kind. I'm going to take my $1,500 and go pay some bills and have some fun. Hey, Rick. What? Somebody screwing with me and put a couple zeros on this, or somebody did pay $1,500 for this damn piece of metal. I paid every bit of that. Sometimes I actually can't believe that Corey's the same blood as me. That boy's dumb as a box of rocks. So what is it? It's a panel off an SR-71 Blackbird. How do you know it's real? It's made of titanium. Who would make something fake like that? So what, are you a metallurgist now? How many times in this pawn shop have we dealt with titanium jewelry and crap? I don't think it's titanium. I don't know what the hell's wrong with these guys. Recently, I bought an old NFL program that turned out to be worth three times what I paid for it, and I still get no respect. I can't wait to rub it in everyone's faces when I'm right. Call Matt, get him down here, and bow down to the sun and pray that this thing is real when we get our money back. Yeah, let's see how badly you got taken. What's going on, Matt? Not much, Corey. How you doing? Doing well, buddy. So, guy came in and sold this to me, told me it was from an SR-71 Blackbird. Nice. The guys call me down to the shop anytime they have anything aviation or military related. I try to answer any questions they might have. So the SR-71 had its first flight in 1964. Uh, it was a leader of its time. This is probably one of the coolest aircraft ever made. It did not have any weapons on it. It basically flew high, and it flew fast. Wow. <laughs> I think it went over 3.5 times the speed of sound. That's nuts. To fly the SR-71, it's almost like being an astronaut. They're flying up at 80,000 feet. You're starting to get up there near the space region, starting to see the curvature of the Earth and that. That's high. This is titanium, right? Well, let me take a look at it here. Corey, I uh, hate to break it to you, but this actually is not titanium. Ah, oh, you're kidding me. This actually looks more like a composite alloy. You can see the rivets here. Most of the leading edges were titanium, but they only needed titanium in certain spots on the aircraft. OK, but it is from an SR-71. Well, obviously, it says SR-71 on it. It's got the uh, Buno number here uh, in stencil, so that looks official. And one of the key things here, you can kind of look at the rivets and how they're spaced. Uh, that looks like it was professionally done by Lockheed. And then you've actually got some names. 
it looks like you got two signatures on here. The first one, Bill Flanagan, uh, SR-71 flight test. So Bill worked on the program uh, at Skunk Works. OK. Uh, Robert Gilliland, he's the first one to fly the SR-71. Of the 32 that they built, he flew every one of them. Wow. Dutch 5-1, that's his call sign. And that all makes sense. So these are the names that you want on something like this? They are. Sweet. Somebody's going to have to eat some crow over that one. Um, <laughs> So I bought it for 1500 bucks. What do you think I could sell it for? It's in good condition. It's got the stenciling. It's got two signatures of pioneers in aviation on there. I think you could easily get that. I think in the right scenario, you could even get more. In this business, breaking even on an item pretty much loses us money because we have to pay a sales commission to whoever sells it. I just know my dad is going to get on my case about this. Corey, I saw you talking to Matt a while ago. What was that all about? He was giving me more information about the SR-71 panel. So what was it made out of? It wasn't made out of titanium, some other metal. So apparently you're not a metallurgist. I took a guess, whatever. You think my family would want me to succeed, but instead they only seem happy when they catch me screwing up. Is it real? Yes, it is. How much is it worth? Uh, Matt said it was worth around 1500 we broke even again, Rick, maybe. We're not going to make a home run off it, but we'll make our money back plus some. Just go to work. Whatever, oh, dude. Another one bites the dust. Lay off of him, Rick. You weren't much better at his age. 